Okay, I'm Shelly Christian and I'm down here at the Saskatoon Farmer's Market, the new Airgrim Kitchen. And today I'm going to make my special vegan chili and uh, it's the recipe we use here at the, garlic, at the Garlic Guru here down at the Farmer's Market. So first of all, I've chopped up some red, yellow and uh, orange peppers as well as some onions. So I'm just going to finish up this last one here. And what I do is I chop up all my vegetables. And this is a little secret I have myself. And I just place them on a pad. So I'm going to take all my vegetables that I've cut, my peppers, my onions, carrots, spinach, very important. And you'll see, like, it's a beautiful color. Chop up some tomatoes. You can even use canned if you want. I prefer everything fresh, because that's how vegans like it, or vegetarians. Or this is also a gluten-free recipe. Just throw that on there. With that, Ooh. With that, I'm going to throw some cumin, just a sprinkle, and my chili powder. I take some oil, and I'm drizzling generously. Not too, so it's greasy, but just nice. And then I throw this in the oven. I let that bake for about 15 minutes. Meanwhile, I take some vegetable broth pour it into my pot, I guess. <laughs> some of our garlic guru hummus. I put a whole jar of that. That substitute for like tomato paste or spaghetti sauce or whatever. And I let that simmer while my vegetables are, are roasting. Ooh. So as you can see, it's nice and roasted, not burnt, not black, not, you know, just nice. Still got all your vitamins. So you're just gonna pour some in to your stock pot, which has already been simmering. So you're just gonna stir that around. Mm. Next, I add some corn in there. Sometimes I roast the corn along with the rest of the vegetables. Sometimes I don't, depends on what kind of mood you're in. Next, instead of beef, you need your protein. I put quinoa, that's my secret. Makes it, it tastes, it takes on the taste of um, the rest of the vegetables with the sauce, with the chili, so it's almost, almost like hamburger or ground chicken. It tastes amazing. And I put a nice serving, about two cups I put in there, and it will soak up and, and come become a texture of chili. The longer you let it simmer, the more the flavors come out just with anything. I add a little bit more chili powder because I like it spicy. I also add garlic powder. Can't be working for the garlic guru if you don't have garlic. And I'm generous with my garlic, because I love it. And then last, I add my black beans. And I add about a cup to a cup and a half. I actually use, I, I boil my own black beans. I don't use canned. Also, with the chili, I like to just add a little bit of chili cayenne peppers, you get it fresh. You can use fresh or you can use the, the paste. So just to add a little bit of acid to, to your chili, I just, drop, I just put a drop of lime, lime juice, and just give that a nice little mix. You can add salt and pepper to taste. I usually don't like to because you can always put salt in but you can never take it out and I don't like using salt too much. 
So then you're gonna mix it all up. You know, just let that simmer. And there you go. So you let this simmer about for about an hour, hour and a half. Um, I like to use a slow cooker. That way I don't have to really watch it and they could just simmer all day. Another favorite of mine is just to add a little sprinkle of cheese, just like with any chili. Even a doll, a drop of sour cream will be good. And there you go. I'm Shelly Christian, and this is my Garlic Guru Vegan Chili. Thanks.